Hello everyone. Welcome back to Lucid Tutorials. In this video, I will share with you the top 11 tips for Apple's Freeform app. The tips are intended to help you get better at using the Freeform application. If you are looking for a more comprehensive tutorial, watch this one. How to use the Freeform app on macOS 13 Ventura. I will leave the link to this tutorial in the description box under this video. Let's get started. Tip number one. How to remove an image from the Freeform board and what is the difference between cut and delete? There are three options to remove or delete a photo or an image from the freeform board. In three cases, you must first select the item before you can delete it. You can delete an image by pressing the delete button on your keyboard. However, you can undo your action by pressing the Command plus Z keys on your keyboard. The second option is to go to the Edit menu and select Delete from the drop-down menu. The third option is to right-click on the image and select cut. You may ask, what is the difference between cut and delete? Cut removes the selected content from the board and keeps it on the clipboard. As you can see, the image is held on the clipboard. Delete removes the selected content from the board without saving it to the clipboard. Let's clear the clipboard first. Now I will delete the image. As you can see, the image is not on the clipboard. I press Command plus Z keys to retrieve the image. Tip number two. How to change the number of sides of a polygon? To add more sides to a polygon, click on the shape and you will see a green handle. Drag it clockwise to add more sides. Or counterclockwise to decrease the number of sides. Tip number three, how to recover a deleted freeform board. Don't panic if you accidentally delete a board. When you delete a board, it will be moved to the recently deleted folder and remain there for 30 days. Let's delete this board. and see what happens. It has been moved to the recently deleted folder. To retrieve the board, 
click on the recently deleted folder. Next, right click on the deleted board and select recover. If you want to permanently delete a board, select delete. Then click on the delete button in the dialog. I don't want to delete it, so I click cancel. Tip number four, add pastel colors to your sticky notes. The sticky notes in the Freeform app come with seven default colors. If you want your sticky notes to have softer colors, drag an image or a photo to the board that contains pastel colors. This can be a JPEG, GIF, PNG, or TIFF image. Next, navigate to the Format menu and select Show Colors. Make sure your node is selected. Click on the eyedropper tool and move it to your favorite pastel color. You can see a square in the middle of the circle. Place the square over the color you like and click it. In this way, you can choose as many colors as you like. You can also change the opacity to make your node transparent. Tip number five, add a border to an object and modify the border thickness and color. The Freeform app has many shapes that are presented in different categories. However, they look flat. If you want to add a border to a shape to give it more personality, click on the shape to select it. Next, click on the Stroke Inspector button to set or change the type of border. Then click on the up arrow to increase the line thickness or down arrow to decrease it. If you want to change the border color, click on the color wheel and drag the crosshairs over different colors until you find the color you like. Tip number six, edit shapes. There are many shapes available in different categories in the Freeform app. Sometimes you may want to modify the shape. To edit the shape, select it, go to the format menu, select shapes and lines, 
and from the sub menu select make editable now you see many handles around the edge of the bag there are two types of handles square and circle a square represents a sharp line and a circle represents a curved line if you want to change a sharp line into a curved line double click on a square handle and it will be changed into a circle handle and vice versa here we have a bag we want to change its shape and make it a bit round as you can see if I drag the square handle to the left I will get a sharp line to change it into a curved line I double click on the square and it will be changed into a curved line This is how you edit the shape. Tip number seven, add text to a shape. To combine text with a shape, double click on the shape and start to type. For example, I love strawberries. To change the font size, double click to select your text and choose a different font size from the format menu. To change the font color, click on the color drop-down menu and select a different color. Tip number eight, add emojis to your board. You can use an emoji if you can find what you are looking for in the shape categories. First, add a text box to the board by clicking on the text box button. Next, double click on the text box to see the blinking cursor. Now press and hold down the control, command and space keys on your keyboard to see the emoji picker. Select what you need. I choose a dolphin. The size can be changed by clicking on it and dragging the green dot or handle to make it bigger. To add text to the emoji, first add a text box to your board. Type whatever you want. and place it on the emoji or under. However, if you drag your emoji to a different place on the board, the text will remain where it is. To overcome this problem, drag your mouse cursor over the text and the emoji to Select them. 
Then click on the Arrange Inspector button and put them in a group. Tip number nine, subtract shapes. The Freeform app allows users to combine shapes by placing one on top of another and then subtracting the top layer from the bottom layer to create a special effect. First, I place the cup and the saucer on top of the teapot. Next, select both objects by dragging the mouse cursor over them. Then I click on the format menu and go to shapes and lines and select subtract shape. This is the effect you will get. The top layer is subtracted from the bottom layer. If you want to be more creative, place a photo underneath the teapot to create a different effect. Click on the image and select send to back. Tip number 10. Frame a photo. To frame your photo, click on the shape button. Go to art category and select a frame. To change the color of the frame, click on it and select a color from the format menu. I'll select yellow. Now I want to place the frame over the image but the frame moves underneath the image. To overcome this problem, right-click on your mouse and select Bring to Front. You can now place the frame over the image. We are facing another problem. The frame is a square and the image is a rectangle. To change the height and width of the frame, go to the Arrange menu and ensure constraint proportions is unchecked. You can now change the height and width of the frame to fit the image. Tip number 11. Add shapes, photos, audio files and movie clips to your sticky notes. You can combine sticky notes with shapes, photos, audio files, and movie clips. Just drag and drop your files onto your note. To put them in a group, 
you can select the items on your note by dragging the mouse cursor over them. Next, right click on your mouse and select Group from the Context menu to put them in a group. You can now move your sticky note and other files to a different location on your board. If you want to play your audio file or movie, click the play button to listen to music or watch a movie clip. If you want to watch the movie in full screen, double click on it. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. If you learned something new from it, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to receive notifications of upcoming tutorials. Your support will encourage me to make more videos for you. Thank you for watching.